Robert, fix it. You have a challenge to build a gaming PC for one one hundred dollars. Can you do it? I don't know. Robert, you got this. Okay, I'm in. Show them what you can do. Round one. Fight. So I've been watching many popular YouTube channels claim to have a gaming PC for $100. But then when they actually do the review and the testing, it's over $100. It's always $120, $110, $115. So I had an idea. What if we could make a build challenge across the internet where the gaming PC has to be actually $100? Not 105, not 110, and not 120. It's a tough task, but let's see if we can do it. As I was getting ready for the challenge, I thought to myself, you're getting tired of the same old gaming PC build. You buy a $20 Optiplex, put an SSD and a GPU, and call it a gaming PC. Well, that works out great. Why don't we do something different? So here's the ground rules. First of all, no pre-builds. We've already seen that done a thousand times already. Considering this is a PC build challenge, I want you to actually build the PC, get the case, get the motherboard, and assemble all the parts yourself. Shipping will be excluded from the total price, along with the tax. Just the actual price of the parts will count. Now, if you're like me, you're probably thinking, I can just put something together out of all the crap in the garage. And it was free. But to be fair to the contest, we're going to use current market value for any parts that you already had on hand, whether it's eBay or OfferUp, etc. And the final and most obvious rule is that it has to run Fortnite. When you think of a gaming PC, Fortnite goes hand in hand and it's the most popular thing right now, so it has to run it. It doesn't have to run it well, but just run it. And that's it. Now on to the judging. So if you made it this far into the challenge, I congratulate you. There will be four categories. A CPU benchmark, a GPU benchmark, visual appeal and style, and then creativity. So here's an example of what we could use for the $100 build. Some of these things I bought recently and some were free. This was a free case, but we're not going to use this because it looks boring. Also, if it's free, you have to value it above free, so that's not going to work. I did buy this case kind of dusty it's been a month or so this is a nice tempered glass case so this fits more in the category of a gaming PC right we can put some nice lighting on here and since we're getting points for looks I think this will do much better so I bought this for $20 that's been documented so I'm pretty sure I'm going to use that case even though it's strange and so there's 20 bucks the motherboard I have currently this was also free but I found this exact same motherboard with the heatsink and memory on eBay for $35 so I might use that not sure there's no back plate I also have a Dell Optiplex motherboard that is another candidate. It's a third gen i5. I'm reluctant to use this one because it's a Pentium, but we'll see. So that's just an example. Even though this was free, it still has to be entered as $35 because that's how much it would cost to buy it right now. On eBay, any uh, free entries should be 
eBay or offer up checked within the last 30 days. That is the sale price to count. The problem with building a $100 PC is the power supply. If you buy a new power supply, that pretty much blows a third of your budget. So my idea is to use an old Dell power supply, which I'm sure you could find one for five or ten dollars. That'll save me some money. I think I'm going to use this one, but it's going to look ugly in the case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it black to match the case. And then I'm going to find a way to wrap these cords in black so they're not ugly looking, hopefully. Unless I can find a really nice power supply for maybe 20 bucks, 15. We'll see. This is not my official entry. This is just an example. And then SSD, typical. This is $15. I just bought one, so I'm probably going to use that. Hard drive. If you wanted to shave bucks off the total, you could use a hard drive because these are like $5, right? $5 all day long. But it would just take longer to load the games, so... What's gonna happen is if for some reason I run out of money in the budget, I'm gonna switch to a hard drive instead of the SSD, but I'm hoping to, to keep that because one of the uh, points of the score you're gonna get for this challenge is how long it takes to load Windows, and uh, this would be much faster. So that's a possibility. And then finally the GPU. I think this is the hardest part. If you're going on graphics performance, as far as the score, you need a good GPU, but you're gonna spend 50, 60 dollars on it. And then how would you have enough money to buy this, 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 and this? And that's why this challenge is so difficult. So talking with my buddy, he's saying that you know, you can get close to 100, but it's really hard to get to 100. So for example, this I bought for $50 shipped. It's a 980 Ti, but it didn't come with any fans. So if I put a fan on it, that's another $10. So now it's 60 and for 60, I could just buy a GPU. I wouldn't have to use this. Although this would be much faster than anything you could buy for 50 or $60. If there's a way I can squeeze this in, I want to use this because it's the fastest I'm going to get for 60 bucks. But we'll see. And then I have this one. This is an RX 590 that I bought for $20. So that would be great, right? So if we could make this work for 20 bucks, that would be awesome. But we'll see. There's going to be a video about this card as well. Then we have the obligatory RGB fan. This is a CPU fan, which will go here. As long as I can fit it in the budget, I need at least some lighting, right? Because there's glass in the case. Score a couple of visible points. This was 10 bucks. So we'll see. I don't have a total yet. Right now, as it stands, if I, if I was to put all of these things together, I think I'd be over the $100, and that's difficult. So that would be like 60, 70, 75, 100, 120. So we'll see. Can anyone else do it? $100 build without a pre-built Dell or anything? We'll find out. We'll see you in the next episode. This is not over.